Today is 29th of March, 2050. It's CNN news headlines. Google weather has forecasted there will be a severe drought condition in next two years, which will create an alarming food scarcity around the globe. Unfortunately, this is not a fiction. Scientists have already predicted there will be a severe drought in near future. The changing global climate is predicted to lead large areas of the world to experience drought condition over the next few decades. Additionally, the global population is expected to be increased by 2 billion in 2050. Along with this population growth, there is an increasing full demand with a specific need for protein. This is where my research comes in, identifying drought-tolerant soybean varieties to help you weaponize in advance for this anticipated crisis. Now you may have the question, why it's soybean? Soybean is the queen of the grain legume and a rich source of plant-based protein, and it comes with another amazing benefit. As you know, for most of the plants, we need to add nitrogen fertilizer. But when it comes to soybean, it has the ability to form a mutual relationship with bacteria surrounding the root area and fix the amply available nitrogen in the air for plant growth and food production. To identify drought tolerant varieties, I planted 1000 soybean plants from 106 Canadian short season soybean varieties in a greenhouse, here it is, and half of them are grown in drought condition by withholding water and the rest was supplied with enough water. Then during the flowering stage, I measured four different outcomes, how fast the food production machineries work in the leaves, how they use the produce food to get energy for themselves, the rate of absorbing carbon dioxide from air, and the rate of water vapor exiting through the tiny pores of the leaves, and how efficiently they use the available or existing water to fulfill their needs. Then during the harvesting stage, I measured seed protein, crop harvest, and how much nitrogen they fixed. Excitingly, I was able to find some varieties that can withstand drought stress, fix a large amount of nitrogen while providing a high yield, as you can see in your right side image. Look how happy bacteria after fixing a lot of nitrogen, even under drought stress. My research will challenge the drought in 2050 and change the aforesaid news headline from food scarcity to accessible food for all.